Good morning. You're watching Fox 5 Morning News at 6. The ticking of the biological clock for some women hoping to become mothers, it's all they can hear. Now, a new test may be able to tell women just how long their biological clocks will keep on ticking. Fox's Dr. Sapna Parekh has more. Many women today are ignoring that sound, at least for the moment. You focus on your career and, and you want to do certain things in your life before you settle down. Larissa Pye and her husband have now been married for just over a year. I'm in my 40s and she's in her 30s and we don't have much uh, of a window left. So we'd like to have a child as soon as possible. And there's a test that may tell Larissa what time it is on her biological clock. It's called an antral follicle count. They're the immature follicles that are about to develop into a follicle that she's going to ovulate an egg from in the next menstrual cycle. With ultrasound, we can actually see these little tiny follicles. Dr. Sherman Silber is the co-director of the New Hope Infertility Center in Manhattan and author of the book How to Get Pregnant. He says the number of antral follicles is directly proportional to how many eggs a woman has left. The higher the antral follicle count, the greater the ovarian reserve, uh, uh, the, the higher her fertility. Larissa decided to have the test to see where she stands. I'm actually excited. <laughs> um, a little anxious, but uh, I'm excited. The ultrasound itself is fast and painless. One, two. Larissa's total count is approximately 16. When the antral count total is 10 or lower, then you're in a much more difficult situation where even with treatment, it's more difficult for you to get pregnant. Based on this antral count, I think we have three good years for getting you pregnant, so hopefully we can get you a couple of children. That was Fox's Dr. Sapna Parikh reporting. For women who want to try the antral follicle test, fertility experts say it's important to remember that the results are more of an estimate than an absolute count.